Hey guys, by now you should be enjoying the scandal review that was up late. As you know, I told you guys that I was going to add all these extra scenes in from the last video, but I didn't realize that me and Tanea had recorded an hour worth of footage last night, and for some reason, YouTube won't let me upload um, out videos over an hour. I'm sorry, I'm rushing. And um, so I couldn't add it. But I am going to go ahead and throw in this extra bonus scene when I first talked about Scandal being canceled. And I watched the rest of the video and I just feel like, you know, we pretty much covered everything in the new video. So I don't want to upload the negative stuff that we said in the other video. So I'm really sorry that I couldn't add the extras. But don't worry because I have a vlog coming this weekend and we have a couple other extra things come in i'm really sorry that the video was late and i hope you guys enjoy tell me how you feel about scandal possibly ending i mean because i pretty much think that it's really going to end but you know some people are saying it's not but in this video i just knew that it was ending so enjoy and then i did that little stupid thing in the last video because i was going to you know add it in there and now i look stupid happy saturday <laughs> Got messed up Mondays shot. I'm just not having a nice time setting up this camera on Mondays, but it's gonna be okay. Is it? It's gonna be okay. Now I'm gonna get rid of my bliss. I want to get rid of my bliss. Oh, hey guys. Um, before we even start this. Don't judge Tanea. She's already in her nightgown. I'm freezing. Y'all know what I'm in. Y'all knew what I was coming in last week. Um, but what's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host, Tanea. Hey, guys. And we're back with an all-new Scandal review. Um, I need to have a talk with y'all before we start the Scandal review, and um, I promise not to make it long. Wow. This has been a very trying... I don't even think, I think it's literally been 24 hours, like, it hasn't even been a couple of days. Um, yesterday, I'm sure most of you know that it was announced everywhere. Shonda hasn't come out yet, but I already know why, because next week is the ABC Upfront, and that's usually when they tell what shows are going to, you know, continue on, what shows, what new shows, like. So basically, Shonda, in her interview, she's already announced that next season which is uh scandal season seven will be the fin the final season of scandal it will basically be the series finale and um i mean you know how you know something is you already know that it's going to happen but it's like once it happens it's just like i mean i feel like scandal fans understand how i feel right now um I feel like this episode made me feel a little bit better because we were all excited about a lit, so I feel a little bit better. But I've been so down and sad since I found out. Like, I almost feel like I'm in shock. Like, it's just, I'm so stressed about it. Like, see, my thing is that I know that I, I knew back in season two. Shonda had been gave an interview and she said, this is not Grey's Anatomy, this is not a 10 season show. This show probably won't go past season five. I mean, we're blessed that we're making it to season seven, but I'm just so torn about it. Like, this is so bittersweet. And it's like, if Scandal stay any longer, like, what else is gonna happen? I mean, because- yeah, because it's already a stretch with Fitz no longer being the president. Right. I mean, because Melly's the president, but this show isn't about fucking Melly. Like, it's about Olivia Pope and her issues and her relationship with the president and her company. Like, I am so sad, y'all. Like, I feel like I'm glad that I didn't come to this camera yesterday because yesterday I spent some time crying. Flipping out. Yes, it was a real shit show. I, I just, there. I really, I just don't feel good. Like it's like a, a emptiness inside of me or something. I just don't like it. But I knew we all knew that this had to happen. We knew we all knew it was coming. I mean, not just the fact that it's not much more that Shonda could do a scandal. Also, the actors, you know, they have to. 
I mean, Kerry Washington is not a normal ass actress. Like, she has to start doing movies and stuff again. I mean, she got to do little stuff here and there, but right. Scandal takes up, you know, a lot of her time, or most of her year. So, it's just, I mean, because it's different, you know, Ellen Pompeo on Grey's Anatomy, her only job, like, you name a movie that you saw Ellen Pompeo in, the last one. I mean, her life is literally her kids and Grey's Anatomy. It may have been old school. Yeah, like, she's not in a lot of movies and stuff. Like, Harry Washington is out there. Like, I'm sure she wants to start doing movies. And Tony Goldwyn is a, a great actor, you know what I mean? So it's just like, but I'm just so sad about it. And I just feel like everything that happens now is like, I mean, I just feel like every old Litz moment is extra special now. Everything that happens is extra special now because it's the last. Like... I just, I'm just a mess. Like, I'm, oh my god, I'm so fucked up about it, y'all. Like, it's leaving a bad feeling in me. And then this morning, I had to spaz off. See, that's the other thing. Like, it's everywhere. Like, it's all over the internet. Everybody's talking about it. This morning, they were talking about it on the radio. Some stupid motherfucker going to say that they're canceling the show because. Curry Washington and this Chris Rock thing. See, like, now rumors are coming out, and I just, I can't handle it, like, first of all, scandal is not canceled. Showing that ended it. There's a difference, okay? Let's be clear. Because ABC would have been more than fine with, you know, like, because everybody's always talking about the scandal's rating has gone down. I don't even watch scandal no more. Bitch, people still watch scandal. You don't watch Scandal, people still watch Scandal. ABC enjoys Scandal on at 9 o'clock. It still gets them rated. TGIT, period, gets them rated. So, they would have gladly signed her on for season 8. But, I mean, Shonda has to move on, too. You know, she has a new show coming out. Everything is just... I just had to get that off my chest, y'all. Like, she feel it in her chest, Lord. Oh, my God. Like, I'm going to talk... feel better? No, I don't. 